Especially when I like something so much, I use it up and then buy the same thing yet again. Sometimes I even buy backup products when I'm not finished with the original one and I only do this for things I really really like so let me show you what they are Hi guys, it's Makali. If it's your first time on my channel, then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I make fairly regular videos on beauty, fashion, travel, lifestyle, and a host of other topics. So if you enjoy any of these kind of things, take a minute to hit the red subscribe button below this video and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out. I've been making content around beauty for more than a decade. Not all of it has been on this platform, though I started out as a beauty blogger back when I was in college, and it was just so exciting to try products, review them and talk about them and now it's long later and I'm still doing that and I still really enjoy doing it and I've just gotten a lot of experience, I know what to look for, I know what I like and I know what I don't like. So sometimes I will present those products to you in a favourites video. I also do empties videos sometimes where I show you everything that I've finished up and if you like empties videos, I might have a really big one coming up soon. So this is my first time making a video on my most repurchased products. Uh, but if you guys enjoy this, I'm very open to making this a series. So there's a little bit of makeup. Skincare steals the show, as always. There's a little bit of body care and there's even some nail stuff. And I have made this video in partnership with Amazon because Amazon Beauty Sale has been running this week. It ends tomorrow on Sunday. I consider myself something of like a smart shopper. I really do a lot of extra shopping when beauty sales are going on. And I will use it to get through my wish list. If there's a product that I've been eyeing and it's marked down a lot, then I will buy it. But most of the time, what I end up purchasing during these sales are the products that I know I will need. And what is a better testament to the quality and and worth of a product than the fact that you're buying it again and again. So all of the products that I'm going to talk about in this video are going to be listed and linked in the description bar just below and they will also be available on my Amazon storefront. Now that's a single link that you'll see like right below this video and if you click on that link you'll be able to see all of the products in one place. If you're interested in knowing what the deals are on all of these products then the storefront link is going to be the quickest way to show you guys that. You know I like to keep things relatively organized so we are going to go through the products category wise and I'm gonna start with makeup but if you're interested in only a specific category feel free to use a chapter or timestamps feature to jump to that section of the video. So I actually just have two products to share with you guys for the makeup section. First, a mascara from L'Oreal. This is their Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm a little conflicted about this because it has a lot of upsides but it does have one big downside and I'm gonna get the downside out of the way just at the beginning so you guys know what we're dealing with. This mascara is really annoying to remove you really have to work hard with it and use a makeup remover that's biphasic or something that takes off waterproof makeup. Otherwise, it's not going to come off. That being said, beautiful formula, volumizing, separation is pretty decent as well and it does stay for a really long time. It's also one of my more dramatic glamorous mascaras. The first tube that I had also lasted me a really long time. Judging by the state of this, you guys can see it's a mess just because it was always in my makeup bag and I carried it around a lot. Repurchasing it was a no-brainer. It does last a long time, so it's good bang for your buck also. If you like mascaras, but you haven't tried this, I definitely recommend trying it out. Mascara used to be my least favorite makeup product to use. I find it really annoying to put on, but I realize that it does make a very big difference to your whole face, even if you're doing a very simple look and you're eschewing eyeshadow, you're not doing eyeliner. Mascara is something that generally you should not miss. Next up I have eyebrow makeup. This is the Etude Drawing Eyebrow Pencil and I feel like I've probably gone through at least 10 or 15 of these in my entire life. This is quite a budget eyebrow pencil. So I've used like the dark brown one, the reddish brown one, the grey brown one. It doesn't make a big difference in my book. They're all really good. Do you have a retractable type of brow pencil on one side and then you have a pulley brush on the other sides. It's really easy to use even if you're a beginner with eyebrow makeup. Here I have three of them. One is fully finished off. One has just the teeniest 
amount of product remaining and then I bought a brand new one. This is a product I do not want to be without. Now we move on to skincare and I'm just gonna tell you guys right off the bat that this category is just mainly moisturizers. I think I have good moisturizer recommendations. Whether your skin is oily, combination, dry, whatever. This is one of my favorites, the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion for normal to combination sensitive skin. It will work quite well for moderately dry skin also. It might not work if you have severely dry skin. I'm still actually on my first bottle of this product even though I used it very regularly because this is a big size and you need very little. So this is one of those products that if you see the price you might think this is a little bit expensive uh, but then when you end up buying it, it lasts for such a long time so it ends up almost being like a budget product really. As soon as I realized how much I like this, I bought another one because I wanted a small size handy to travel with or whatever. This is available in many different sizes and if your skin just has sensitivities, if you have breakouts and you're looking for a gentle fuss free moisturizer, this is something I would recommend in a heartbeat if you don't like fragrance products. Even if men are watching this video and I often get asked specifically for male product recommendations which you guys can actually use anything I recommend. You might like this one. <laughs> From Neutrogena I have their Hydro Boost Water Gel. So I have the full size which I finished off a little while ago. And I just recently repurchased it uh, but I got one of the smaller size. It is a hyaluronic acid based gel moisturizer. This is really great for combination oily skin types and something that I default to a lot during the summertime. It does also have a little bit of a fragrance but it is a really nice product you know and it suits my skin really nicely when it gets really oily. This is just the right amount of like moisture that I need. It's a non-irritating product. So something I would definitely recommend. However, this one is on the mid-range side and like you might find it pricey. So I actually have a dupe for you guys also that I use a lot and that I love. And it is the Spawn Super Light Gel Moisturizer. This is also a light hyaluronic acid based gel moisturizer just like the Neutrogena one. The Pons one is really quite equivalent and it is also super affordable. I almost finished this one and again I didn't really want to be without it so I bought a new one and I noticed that they've kind of changed the packaging a little bit. I've recommended this to friends in real life also and I felt really good when they came back to me and said that they really liked it after having tried a lot of moisturizers that didn't work well for their skin or broke them out. There's practically no downsides to this one. This is a Korean skincare product from Claire's. It's a fundamental watery oil drop and it's vegan friendly. It does also come in a glass bottle so that is something that you guys might want to note and you get this really good dropper. I love this for when my skin gets kind of normal to dry. It is my go-to during the colder months and I love it because it's like a hybrid serum that gives you more hydration than water-based serums but it doesn't have like the full-on oiliness of a face oil. The texture is just beautiful. You actually have to try this to see how nice it feels. Wonderful under makeup also because it will help your base slide on your face. So I already repurchased. So that when I finish up this one, I have my new one already lined up and waiting for me. Final skincare product that I have repurchased recently is this Innisfree Lip Sleeping Mask, a nighttime lip balm. This is a variant with green tea, which is the one I love, but they also have another variant that has canola in it. I've not tried that one, uh, but this was a product that was recommended to me and the minute I tried it, I knew I would love it. So this is like my daily driver lip balm at this time of the year something that I keep beside my bed. It keeps my lips well moisturized that I barely ever have to reach for lip balm in the daytime. So I've been using it ever since it got cold. And I barely made a dent in it, so it is something that will last a while. If your lips are prone to dryness, I would recommend checking this out. They do also have this in like chapstick form for daytime if that's more your jam. But I just prefer to put a heavier one on at night and be done with it. This category is facial hair removal and I just have one product to share with you here. It is the Sky Beauty Guide Facial Razors that I believe I have not spoken about these in a few months but before that I used to talk about them regularly and I still absolutely use them. I do have facial hair removals also. I have one by Brown, one by Philips. Oh yeah, I have two by Brown. I've reviewed all of those products by the way so feel free to look them up on my channel. 
uh, but honestly I really like facial razors because they're a low tech solution that absolutely work especially for like you know if you have jawline hair upper lip hair it just takes care of it so quickly this is the best quality facial razor I've ever tried these are made in Japan by Kai which is an amazing brand by the way you have to try out their stuff the razor is basically all metal it's just this little slip cover that goes over the blade that's plastic here's a new razor by the way and they call it beauty guard because it has this little guard over the blade that should really prevent your face from getting cut or scratched you get them in these boxes which are like a pack of five and after i tried the first box i knew i loved it and then when i went back to purchase more there was a better deal the larger quantities you buy uh, so I think I ended up buying like three boxes at one time and now I don't have to repurchase for a long time because one razor lasts me like one and a half to two months because I'll take out hair once a week so the requirement is not really much. I think face razors are the best and I think this is the best face razor. Next category is body care. Here also I can have a single product to share with you and it's the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Daily Body Lotion. This is a really good range if your skin leans dry. I have a confession to make here. During the summertime, I rarely ever moisturize my body. Like we all have stuff to do and my body does not feel dry in the summer. The humidity keeps it hydrated. I rarely ever have to pay attention to it unless it's my hands. But in the winter, I do need a little extra moisture. And that's where I turn to this lotion. The texture of it is like a creamy balm, but it's absolutely not heavy. It is fragranced. Another product that does not finish off quickly because you really do need a little. You don't have to keep on pumping or pouring out a lot of this product to keep your body feeling good. It looks like this now. It used to look like this before. Now we're on to the final category, which is nail products. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I really like taking care of my nails and shaping them and painting them I always do that at home this is what my current manicure looks like by the way it's an alternating light and dark green one that I'm obsessed with so you see I spent time on my nails and that's why this had to be a separate category first I'm going to show you my favorite nail file <laughs> two of these are used up one of them is in use and two of these are brand new when I open them I'll be able to tell but it's this crystal nail filer from color bar when they say crystal what they mean is glass I think I started out using the metal ones Please don't use the metal ones ever. They are really, really bad for you. Crystal nail files are the ones that are kindest on your nails. And they end up really lasting a long time. Like this is kind of a used up one. As long as they keep making it, I will keep on buying it. Next up, my favorite nail polish remover. Really gentle on your nails, but really effective at taking out nail polish. So you do not have to spend too much time with a nail polish remover. This is acetone free but still really nice. I find that some of the acetone free ones are so ineffective. You end up spending so much time with them and they get over fast, which is not the case with this one. So you'll see I have one empty one, one in use, one new one. I need it to keep my nails looking nice. It is a really beautiful formula and compared to other brands like Lacme, very affordable for the quantity that you get even. There is no better nail polish remover at this cost. You can quote me on that. I have one nail polish from OPI that I have been using since 2020. I recently finished off my first bottle after reinvigorating it many times i was like okay it's time to say goodbye to this but i still really love the color on me so i repurchased the same nail polish this is opi's barefoot in barcelona surprisingly i'm not wearing it now but i wear it very often it's this beautiful woodsy pink which is so complimentary i think on pretty much everyone's skin tones and i get comments here on youtube like what nail polish are you wearing pretty often although 99% of the time it's linked in the description so please do look and save yourself the trouble so it's usually this one that I get asked about the most when I was like a lot younger I used to think that neutral nail polishes or neutral lipsticks are really boring and everything should be about bright colors but these neutrals are the ones that will take you really far they're not really loud but they go with everything you can have this on your nails and not worry that it's going to clash with something before this i used to not spend on high-end nail polishes and opi is definitely a high-end brand i'm not recommending them lightly i find it's absolutely worth that money because it's a pleasure to apply and it does definitely stay on longer since i do not spend 
depend on manicures i can justify buying expensive nail polish once in a while and i will make sure i get my money's worth out of it by using it for a really long time so those were all of the products that i've repurchased in the last few months itself i hope you guys find this useful in some way and if you made it to the end leave me a flower emoji in your comment that'll be like our secret little code if you require any product recommendations leave me a comment and i'll be happy to share it with you guys this particular amazon sale only lasts till sunday night if you're planning to order something make sure you do so before that thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time